Hello. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Woman Sky, uh, session three of painting, No Man's Sky inspired uh, paintings in various mediums. Today, uh, we are going to move into watercolor and crayon. We've been doing acrylic painting so far, two of them we did last week, a ringed planet. And we focused on how to conquer the circle and the fear behind making one. <laughs> it was super easy and fun. And today we are going to make it even more simple. And that's why I wanted to uh, get up close and personal today, a little more intimate because we are all trapped at home and a lot of us are having to teach our kids. Um, I personally only have fur babies, but I'm helping uh, teach some art to one of my friends' kids because they're so bored and no hope of going back to school to see their friends the rest of the year. So if you're stuck at home and you have kids who are suffering and maybe just yourself, you're suffering and you aren't a trained artist and you don't know where to begin. Today's episode, session three, we're going to try. I hope you have these things lying around the house because you might probably have some watercolors and crayons. This is my hope. And paper that is a little more than just computer paper. This I ripped out of my sketchbook I had lying around from someone. And it's mixed media. It's not watercolor paper, but it'll work. So um, whatever you have that's just a little thicker than um, computer paper, you can try it with computer paper. But um, the first step will be ultra important, and it might you might break through the paper. Uh, we're using water; it's in the name, so that's a that's a consideration. So let's see who's in the chat. Hi, Dimash Smash. Good to see you in the chat. And Ray Cobra, hello, you are on time. You're absolutely on time. Mr. Yeet, hello. And hi, Mr. Yeet, everyone's saying the haze. It's so much fun. I really enjoy spending time with y'all. Um, you know, because we are all trapped and don't get to see our usual friends. And so we made this whole new group of friends and I love it. And we are all doing good. How are we all doing? I'm doing great. I'm excited to paint with you guys. You might even get a cat walking through here. It's possible. At the moment, here, I'll, I'll just guess you. That's Mr. Pie Wacket. He is so cute. <laughs> so I promise I'm gonna figure out these uh, camera issues. I am doing research into OBS so that I can maybe hook up another camera view to be able to look at what I'm doing down here. Today we're going to do some really janky like that action. But like I said, today's just an intimate, how you doing? Let's not all go crazy together. If you need something to do with your kids, this is going to be a great thing. I originally learned this when I was teaching kids art in LA from Miss Sandra. She runs this wonderful program. If you have kids and you live in California, check it out, Kids Artistic Sense. This is one of these really simple and fun projects. So that's what we're gonna have a simple and fun time today. So of course, with the No Man's Sky theme. So get your crayons right here. I've got mine. I've actually got two different kinds, so I'm gonna try them both out. I've got regular traditional Crayola here, and then these cool um, Twistables. It's a Crayola product that, um, gosh, you get all of that to work with. And you don't have to sharpen it. So these are cool. I'm just wondering about the quality of the waxiness, if they vary at all, or what we'll see. And we'll try them both in the, in the piece today. And so, um, Dimash, if you're there, do you know where my watercolors are? Because I forgot them. <laughs> They're, it, I have like four old ones in the trunk, in the, you know, the art trunk. <laughs> I can run and go get them, but we'll see if that worked. <laughs> um, you, you can hear my face. Okay, yeah. Okay. You can hear the expression on my face. Yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. 
the water the one thing you needed. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, there was a lot going on today. So I'm gonna catch up with comments while we're waiting for the watercolors. Kitty, yes, he's so cute. I do love the new YouTube buddies that I got. Yeah, all of you guys are awesome. I love that we all come from different places too. And I'm learning so much cool stuff, including some Afrikaans even. Um, yes, I, uh, Dimash says, definitely to stream from the phone, ha ha ha. This is 20, 2014 MacBook cam ain't cutting it well. Mirma Ten says, awesome, right? Yep, I do agree, Dimash. And love for jumping on you guys. Don't forget to hit the like. And we're going to get started. Look at this. This is so funny. So this is why I'm saying you have to have these lying around. I have four of these. Four of these. And they're from, I don't know, from long ago. I don't think they expire, though. But, I mean, look. Look at that. <laughs> They're a little dirty, some of them. Ooh, look, these these are like not even like your regular run-of-the-mill colors. So this is fun. Hopefully you have this kind of stuff just lying around like I do. But everybody went to grade school and had to buy some, some of these, right? Oh my goodness. This one, wow, super fun. And all this needs is just a little water to activate it, right? Waste not, want not. You never know when there's going to be a, a coof. Um, so watercolor brushes are a little different. They have more or a collection and big ones, which is fun. So they're just softer. And you don't want to use these with acrylic paint. So only with watercolor if you can help it. So we'll, we'll upgrade the technology can y'all all right this is quarantine time we're just making do with what we got that's what today's about uh smoosh that like uh infanti de prat 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 ye lot africans infanti de prat ye lot africans <laughs> who knows what i said yes uh oh no the stream glitched for me youtube servers just gone nuts Technology has been a little woohoo uh, the past few days. I don't know what's going on. Um, well used, which is good. Yeah, Rayet. YouTube has been giving me so many problems. Yes. I don't know why, guys. It's insane. So one of the first things with watercolors is you want your canvas. It's going to get wet, and paper will, um, you know, it'll warp when it gets wet, just like wood. So we want to tape down the canvas. So I'm gonna get my tape going here. Use what you got, you guys. I have no masking tape. Masking would be the perfect tape. But what I have is pink duct tape. So we're gonna use, I like a thinner strip there. And you're gonna tape down all the edges of your paper. So here, take a look, do your best to line it up. It does not have to be perfect. All right. And down here as well. And then you gotta get a couple more pieces of tape. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. It's all very manual. I'm my own camera person today. It had to be pink. Of course it had to be pink, yeah, no. Translation, one of these days you will speak fluent Afrikaans. Oh, mate, I would love that. That is freaking awesome. I would love that. I learned French in school. And my mom, like my mom went to France, so she spoke fluent French. I also took some Spanish. Neither one can I speak very well. I can read them and say and speak them, but I won't always know what I'm saying or hearing. But it all is one of those things I really want to get good at knowing some languages. I also want to learn ASL. I think that would be so great. So um, I hope that um, the stream 
get smooth again for you, Riot. Rest in peace, YouTube 2020. Oh, man. Please, God, no. Please, just, God, just keep YouTube alive. If all the electricity gets turned off, just leave, leave them a battery. Um, <laughs> so, here we go. Yep, you're going to do the same thing on the side edges. We just don't want this to go anywhere or buckle or warp or tear. So whatever canvas you're using, tape it down. All right, fabulous. So now we're gonna, so we're gonna do a really cool like space scene. Our first two uh, pictures were paintings were landscapes on planets and today's fun will be actually painting the you know, being out in the space so um hopefully you have some cool crayon colors there's a ton of stuff to choose from here the little basic package comes with your run-of-the-mill rainbow colors red orange yellow green blue purple brown and black um they're wonderful colors but maybe you have like a larger thing of uh, Crayolas and you've got some neons. Neons are great for this project, super fun. And uh, these twistables don't really have neon, but they, oh, well, no, look at this green, look. Oh, see, that's totally, there we go. That is spaceship trail green. And let's see, these are all in here with some gel pens. I don't know how those got in here. We don't need you. Although it might be fun for some finishing touches. A little bit of gel pen action. I'm just gonna toss those aside. Yeah, we've got some good colors here. So first, I like to do a little bit of white. Hopefully you have a white crayon. If not a yellow or a neon green or some kind of cool neon color will do. But we're going to take just some white and make some stars. Super simple. So get in there on your canvas and make, and whatever crayon, make sure white's hard to see on white. <laughs> you guys can't even see what I'm doing. But press hard so you're getting a good, nice, waxy coat on there. Look, these twistables, you have to like twist the end to get it to come out. Because yeah, you really want to, and then stars, remember, don't make polka dots. You want to put little clusters or shapes. Um, you know, if you're making this for somebody, you can make a constellation in the shape of something they like. Uh, you know, like I could do a D and an S for Dimash Smash. Because I love him. <laughs> um, isn't that so funny? Like you do that stuff in grade school. You're like, what are my crush's initials? He won't know that I like him. <laughs> and you put it all over your binder and he totally knows. He really does. So, right. Let's move on to something you can actually see. So, <laughs> um, I want to put a cool atlas in the sky here, in the space, in the space space. So we're gonna do like some gray and some red. So put it over here and I'm gonna draw it facing you guys. I'm gonna draw upside down for you. But you know, like what, the Atlas is kind of a diamond. And it's okay if you draw over some of those white stars you can't, you can't see. Um, it's got some shape, so, oh man, if you can, you can kind of do a little line in, making 3D shapes is a little difficult sometimes, but it's kind of like making a kite, but it's not super straight, you want to have a little bit of a angle on these things. And I'm going to just kind of fill this in and make it look more uh, intimidating with some red. These twistables, they do kind of um, 
if you're coloring hard like I am, they run down pretty quick. All right, so we can do like a, oh my God, the red, the scarlet, it enters my mind. Yeah, boom. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a little, mm, circle around that red entrance. And then I wanna give it, I'm gonna give it kind of a, a glowing red all, all around. But I am gonna leave some white space in between the crayons and stuff. Oh, oh it's crazy. So this is totally something you could just do with your family, you know? If you've got all these crayons out, why not? Make everybody sit down and paint out their feelings. You know, how does the quarantine make you feel? Feels like I've only got 16 minutes left and I don't know when it's going to happen. Ah! <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm totally kidding. But you know, that's why we paint. We paint to kind of get, we talk about this the last few episodes that like for a moment, you're just here in the moment. You're here just connecting with the paper and putting whatever you want on it. It doesn't matter. And yours isn't gonna look like mine. You're probably a much better artist than I am. Um, but this is fun. I'm going overboard because this is how I feel. This is how I feel, guys. So good. We've got our Atlas station. Gorgeous. Now we're gonna make a cool like couple of planets on here. So I'm gonna check in with the chat. Anybody got opinions on what color of planets we wanna see? Hey, yeah, Element jumped in the chat. Thanks, bud, for tuning in. <laughs> wow, you guys are awesome. So um, my siblings know French too. I know Chinese, Tamil, and English. Dang, gosh, you know, this is the cool thing about people in other countries. You guys know a bunch of languages. And I really wish that there was more of a focus on that. Um, it just depends on what state you're in, really. Like, I think California is pretty bilingual, but... Um, yeah, there's not a big focus on it, and I really wish it was a requirement. Um, I'd love to learn to speak old Gaelic. Yeah, I have a friend who speaks Gaelic. It's beautiful. Very cool. I really good at Viking language. <laughs> yes. Totes. Totes. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> straightforward T uh, LCS is there. Lava L red. Oh, yes. Smoochy smooch. Hello all, hi Galarek. Thanks for coming into the chat. What kind of childhood you have? Hi Galarek. La 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 heart. I love you guys. Hello there, Element. There he is coming in. Oh, the love runs deep here, you guys. Wow. What the how, how Madfish is chatting while drawing. <laughs> oh man. Um she is multi-talented AF. Oh, thanks. Hey, guys. Thanks for dropping uh, the link there uh, to Rayet's channel. Um, super fun to watch. Really different games that I've never seen before. I'm enjoying seeing all that. Um, Magic Rayet. She's like a rifle multi-tool. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. But that's the nicest compliment ever. Um, you guys are so sweet. Um, what kind of person misspells something? Um, gee, I think you know what my color is. It's purple. I knew that. Yeah, I could, I'm trying to remember it on our, the purple planet. I think the water was turquoise, right? <laughs> Calorek, I knew English and gibberish. It's a good one. It's a really good language to speak. Um, hey there, Galarek. Hi, DS. Great. I'm caught up with you guys. So cool. We're going to do a purple and turquoise watered planet and maybe a, I kind of like the orange ones too with some rings. Let's do that. Um, we'll call back to last week, this, this guy. So cool. Let's do that. I'm going to, did that glitch just happen for anyone else? I had a glitch. I in the matrix. Whoa, what happened with the cam there? Madfish melted. I'm melting. No. 
I hope it's fixed itself. <laughs> I don't want to melt for the rest of the episode. This episode is not about Dolly. Um, well, here. <laughs> you hella melted. You did melt. Am I back together? Um, not important. Check this out, guys. We're going to make... Remember, we were so worried about circles last time, and this was our cool solution. Uh, at your grocery store, in the baking aisle, biscuit cutters. Yep, that's what we're going to use. Only this time, it's not a stamp like we did with the painting. This time, it's a stencil. So this will be great. Easy peasy. And maybe you can freehand a circle, and good for you if you can. But let's cheat. Why not make them a couple different sizes? Those are some good sizes. All right. Thank you, Dimash Smash, for letting me destroy your baking baking tools. <laughs> so let's see. We got, I know somewhere in down here there's a D and an S for Dimash Smash in the stars. So I think that's safe there. And we'll make the purple planet the big one because Mama is awesome. And so I've got two different purples, uh, two different crayons. So this will be a cool opportunity to see like how the watercolor interacts with them later. So we'll just hold it down with one hand and trace the inside of your stencil. Boom. We got a circle. And we'll save those colors there. And I'm gonna do this one orange. I just wanna get the stencils out of the way. So we'll do a nice bright orange and I've got the twistable orange buddy. Look, I've got a couple interesting orange colors. Even though I'm gonna play with this yellow. And then we gotta get a turquoise for the water on this planet. Maybe a, a highlight turquoise, that's pretty. We got our jet stream green, we're gonna save for later. And we might even put like a like a player uh, ship in the sky with the blue jet stream. So we'll, we have some fun, we're gonna have some fun you guys. This is so fun. All good now, I'm so glad I'm not melting anymore. A lot of th my favorite things in life are melted, but it's definitely not my face. <laughs> uh, like exactly like one of them fancy paintings. <laughs> All good now. I'm like, Patrick, I love being purple. <laughs> yeah, it says YouTube has been creeping for a while now. Even Dimash's story of his tech stuff does everything on its own. I thought Patrick was pink. <laughs> Maybe Patrick doesn't know what color he is, or he's colorblind, and he's always thought he was purple. All right, I'm going to smooth out my circle just a tiny bit because the uh, the cutters have a little lip in there. So I'm going to just do a little smoothing. If your stencil is not quite as round as you like it, you can go in there and hand touch it up because we're going to add some texture into these anyway. Thank you, stencils. We're done with you. So for our purple planet, we're gonna have some fun making, uh, I'm gonna go in with the purple first to make the land masses. And I uh, use the dark purple to outline the planet. So we'll start kind of with, and I'm, I'm not filling in, I'm leaving some of the paper shown through, but I'm just gonna kind of swirl around and make some land shapes and Sometimes those are uh, really broken up, right? The little teeny tiny islands. Some of those, there's almost like popcorn pieces of land. <laughs> so we can kind of make this, think of it like popcorn. I'm just spilling popcorn all over the universe. A bigger bit over there. And let's see, do maybe a strip. Strip over there. Boop. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little heart-shaped island in there. Just a secret little heart there for Dimash. Oh, I can hear him blushing. 
And I'm going to take this lighter purple and just kind of fill in a little bit. But not all the way. Still letting some of that paper shine through. And this is not quite scumbling. This is just like crazy drawing. You're just like, wow, letting your hand take you wherever. And then we're gonna switch to our watercolor and I'm gonna change the texture of uh, how we were using the tools, right? So now with the water, I'm just gonna kind of do a light. I'm not giving a lot of pressure on this. This is not as turquoise as I'd liked. It's a little way more green, but that's all right. We're gonna mix in with another color here. But really lightly, I'm coloring here. Leaving that white showing through and not putting too much pressure. And I'm trying to keep coloring all in the same direction. You can even color over the land masses a little bit. It won't matter too much. Wow, that's really green. I want a turquoise, so I guess we can try to, uh, you know, lightly run in a little blue into that green. I mean, crayon doesn't mix like paint, but, you know, it gives the eyes, your eyes will sort of blend it naturally a little more turquoise. That's all I wanted. These colors remind me of my grandma. These were her favorite colors, turquoise and purple party all right you guys again uh this is a project for any skill level this doesn't take a lot of effort hopefully you have these things lying around at home and this might just be a fun thing to change up your quarantine just something simple sweet doesn't take a lot of effort but it takes your mind off of everything so that's looking beautiful let's see can i'm digging it I'm digging it. So now we have our orange planet and some rings. I'm going to check out the chat real <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Patrick Pink? No? No? Lava Loud? There is an episode where Patrick was purple. Oh, one episode? Hey, uh, cool. So then I'm sort of translating. He is. He's moderating uh, both my chat and his chat, which is nice. Um... Mamma Tens says, oh yeah, Atros82, smile, thumbs up. Thanks for dropping in the stream. The Mash Mamma Ten, your boat's right. <laughs> Lol. Hi, Haraz. Hey there. Uh, you calling a grandma? <laughs> Too many grandmas from you. Raya Cobra, it already looks Raya. On fire. We on fire. Well, we are now because we're going to be. Moving on to this scorched, scorched planet. Here we can get a little closer look at this. So I have noticed that the scorched planets tend to have these cool um, veins. I don't know, from space to me, it looks like they have little white veins. So again, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm sort of putting some little marble, marbling stripes across this bad guy right here so just with your white you, I don't know I'm not even like caring which direction I'm going I'm changing it up Ooh, there we go see twistables maybe not so good for the under pressure pressing down on me guys sorry I can't help it I love Bowie I love it all right that's probably enough and we can go over we did the outside with the regular Crayola I'm gonna do some filling in still want to see how different these twistables react with the watercolor I've never done this with these little twistables oh that's fun so the white veins we did are totally kind of showing through though if you can't see them now because I know this is terrible camera and lighting but uh, when we do the watercolor over this, um, that's really going to turn out great, I think. Uh, so I did one direction, sort of lightly coloring with a twistable orange that way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this lighter one and lightly color in an opposite direction. So you get kind of this railroad thatching technique. 
So your two orange colors kind of blend together in this uh, crisscross, which is really fun and effective. Gorgeous. So pretty. These colors always make me crave Fanta <laughs> or one of those orange creamsicles. It's like my only fav uh, only medium for creamsicle flavor that I enjoy is the ice cream on a stick. Anything else is just trying to live up to the real thing. So that's kind of neat. It looks nice, but a little bland. I want to give it a little more texture. I think when the watercolor goes over, it's going to be cool. But there's this really neat uh, rusty reddish orange, I'm hoping. Let's see. I'm just gonna maybe give this planet a little shadow. So just throwing in some of this darker color around one edge and a little bit of a, see how it's thicker and then we thin it out. There we go, that's nice. I'm gonna even throw in a little bit of this dark orange into that same shadow, but extend it a tiny bit, maybe. Here we go. Yeah, really give a kind of gradient effect to the shadowing we're doing here. Man, I love that. And, oh gosh, you know what we could do? Fun effect on this. From I love it in the game when a planet is blocking the sunlight, on, you know, kind of eclipsing, but not totally eclipsing, just kind of creating, let's see how I want to do that. So just make a little circular shadow. So it might sort of look, uh, imagine the Death Star. You're kind of giving this planet like a Death Star shadow, but it's being created from that other planet. I just love that. Sometimes it goes all the way to the edge, but I'm gonna make this one a little bit small. Darker one, maybe just darken up the edges a little bit, make it pop. Focusing on the edges to try to help it stand out as the shadow from that thing. That'll be neat. Great, so now that 